Hello and welcome to this tutorial about step 3 um, of the 12 steps to the Navier-Stokes equation solver. Um, in this case, step 3, as I already told you. In step 2, we had just first order derivatives. And this will change in here. Step 3, the first time we have a second derivative. For that, you have to know what is changing in here. So the second derivative objects are handled it quite a bit differently. You can read about that on the page. Um, but regarding MATLAB, you should know that in your second derivative form, you have not only um, the current location and the last location, but also the next location of your points in a certain direction. And in this case, you will end up at your last point and want to get the next point, which is not there. And therefore, you have to check your boundaries, which I already did here. So nx is not valid anymore, but nx minus 1. And then this equation will run. OK, now let's implement this little equation here um, just into the script. So it is u depending on i equals un depending on i um, plus nu, a variable or a constant which we have never seen before, times dt divided by dx squared times un depending on i plus 1 minus 2 times un depending on i plus un depending on i minus 1. Now this equation is in here and we have to define u. So we define it in here, nu equals 0 0.3 and what we also need to do is we need to change the um, points in here maybe to a little to, your, to our standard amount 41 and just run the simulation and see what it will get you. So I see a lot of interference in here. I didn't know about that at all because I thought CFL condition is in here, so it should should work. But it seems like you have to make your time step depending on new. And this is described in here. So dt equals sigma times dx squared. Maybe dx squared will also be sufficient to prevent um, the interference. We'll see about that. Yes, it does. But um, as the coding from Lorena Barber said, we should make that depending on new. So we will do that. And now you have your little uh, solver for your um, one dimensional diffusion. I hope that helped. Um, as always, change the parameters, try with it around. Maybe I will put something really, really high in here. 401. See what this will get us. Okay, so far more steps in here, far slower uh, reacting uh, diagram in here. And also maybe the time spacing. We, we could change, maybe we, uh, we, we did already taking the new away, or we change the new, make it really, really high, for example, 10. It happens then, maybe it's just a little bit too much points in here, maybe 51 would be sufficient. Okay, and then just experiment and get a feeling for the program. As always, feel free to contact if you have questions and I hope to see you back soon. Thanks for watching.